Hey everybody, it's Melanie, the Carnivore Queen. I wanted to jump on here really quick and talk to you guys about how my caffeine reduction is going. Um, so I've started to wean myself off of coffee. I am down to about six ounces of coffee a day, and that is caffeinated coffee. Um, so something that I kind of uh, wanted to mention was why? Why did I stop drinking so much coffee? Well, I didn't even know how much I was drinking. I was drinking about 32 ounces of coffee a day. And not just any coffee. I was drinking espresso. So, um, basically, yeah, that's enough to send somebody to the moon, is like what I like to, you know, compare it to. I think I had enough energy for a year. Um, so of course I was pretty anxious about, well, what's going to happen if I, if I stop drinking this much coffee, you know, how is this going to impact my life? Am I going to get sick from it? Um, so I looked up what are the top withdrawal symptoms from caffeine? And, um, cause you might have a caffeine addiction. It might not be coffee. It might be Mountain Dew. It might be Coke, Diet Coke, whatever it is. Um, so typically the symptoms of caffeine withdrawal include things like headache, fatigue, drowsiness, dysphoric mood, including depression and irritability, uh, difficulty concentrating, flu-like symptoms, and I, I didn't know this was a possibility, it says flu-like symptoms including nausea, vomiting, muscle pain, and stiffness. That's crazy. I, I just would never think that would happen after you know, not drinking coffee, uh, but I mean, I guess if, if you have that severe of a caffeine uh, overload and then you go to nothing, yeah, you're going to get sick. So I chose to do a very slow uh, method of weaning. I basically dropped uh, my amount that I was drinking by several ounces a week. And um, right now, like I said, I'm on six ounces. And I will probably stay at six ounces a day for, mm, I'll probably do another week and then I'll go to four. Um, and I am very fortunate. I have not experienced any of these really bad symptoms as far as um, headaches, things like that. I have experienced the fatigue. Uh, the first week that I did it, I was extremely fatigued. Like I felt like I could lay down and take a nap. Um, and that's freaky to me because I haven't felt like that in a long time. Uh, since I've gone carnivore, I've had so much energy. And one of the, the best things about going carnivore is no need for a nap. You know, I had no fatigue. I, I could, in fact, I could get by with way less sleep than I was used to. Um, so that was just in the initial phase of me coming off of that amount of coffee. Um, so now, now that it's been, you know, a few weeks since doing this, I feel like this is my baseline. Like, if I go above eight ounces, I'm going to, like, literally just fly to the moon. Um, and so I guess I've created this new baseline in my body of how much caffeine I can tolerate. Um, so... That's a great thing to know that, you know, don't go past this point. Um, I got invited to coffee the other day with a friend and any other day I would have been like, of course, let's go. I'm down to drink coffee at any day, any time. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's even nighttime. I'll drink coffee with somebody or by myself. Um, and I said, you know, I can't do coffee um, because I have already had my allotment for the day. And that was really crazy to say that, because I'm sure they were like, what, you? You drink coffee all day. Surely not you. Yeah, surely me. Because I am trying to get my OCD and panic attacks under control. And um, I am slowly reducing my anxiety medication. And so I am slowly reducing caffeine. Uh, and I am trying to slowly increase the amount of physical activity I do. So um, just an example, today 
I have one of those body opponent bags. They're called a they're called Bob, and it looks like an angry man. And um, I did a bunch of different uh, kicking and punching on him. I went down there and I beat him up. He's in my basement. It's kind of freaky if you go down there and the lights are out. Um, but I uh, I used to do kickboxing. I actually used to instruct it years ago, and I loved it so much. And it like a lot of things in your life, you kind of you life gets in the way and you give up something and that's definitely something that I would like to reintroduce into my life is kickboxing, martial arts, um, self-defense, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, I, uh, I was feeling really stressed out and I went down in my basement and I punched the shit out of this fake guy and I felt so much better. So I highly recommend it. And if you don't have one, beat up a pillow. Do what you gotta do. Hit a punching bag, whatever you gotta do. I don't, I mean, get it out of you. You gotta get it out. Cause I feel like if I don't get it out, it's just gonna fester in my head. So, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if you're working on your caffeine, uh, you know, reduction, let me know. Let me know how it's going. How are your symptoms? What are you doing to help with the symptoms? Um, like I said, I, I'm very fortunate. I feel like I haven't had too crazy of a withdrawal reaction from this. Um, but like I said, initially, yeah, I was pretty fatigued and now I feel good. Like I feel back to normal. <laughs> I've never been normal uh, and I never will be. And that's okay. I love that. I love that about myself and I love that about other people. So I will see you guys in the next video.